Hi everyone. In this video, I want to talk to you about the capstone project that we did for the NLP and MLOps workshop. Um, in this project, we created an article summarizer for RSS feeds. Our team consists of myself, Maria Kardani, Shaheen Bundu, and Shazarad Hosseini. Most of us nowadays are addicted to our electronics devices and the information they provide to us minute by minute. A big problem with this is that most of this information is fed to us without much decision-making power being available on our part. Most of the media that we interact with are provided to us by big tech companies such as Facebook, Google, or Apple, and are provided in such a way that maximizes the benefits to these service providers rather than to the consumer. One way for readers to get more choice out of the material they want to read or the information they want to gather is to subscribe to RS feeds using some sort of RSS reader, which would collect a list of recent articles and their metadata on some desired topic or publication and present it for the readers to go through. But as a result, the reader now has to filter through a barrage of titles, authors, and mostly superficial information that doesn't give the reader a good sense of which articles are worth their time. This sort of outdated experience is one of the reasons why most consumers nowadays find RSS to be inconvenient and would rather stick to a recommendation system that provides them with clickbaity and hypey articles. Being avid readers ourselves, we wondered if there was a way to use NLP to modernize the RSS experience. We decided to try using text summarization to get summaries of the articles in our RSS feed. If we can produce good summaries, they'll give the user a much better impression of whether an article is worth reading or not without them having to flip through each of the many articles listed uh, in a typical RSS reader interface to find out. So now our goal is to build a text summarizer. And our plan is to do this by building a text summarization model using the CNN and Daily Mail dataset. This dataset consists of a collection of news articles along with a summary of a few bullet points. They come from CNN and Daily Mail which have a habit of providing such summaries, and as a result, makes a fairly good data set for our tasks, since many RSS feeds will be about the news, and that is what a lot of readers will be interested in. On the other hand, it is not such a good data set for summarizing blog posts or online articles on specialized subjects, which are also the types of articles I spend the most time reading. We started by training a LexRank model on roughly 100 news passages as our baseline. This is an unsupervised method that finds the most important sentences in a passage based on sentence similarities. However, we eventually switched it out for a pre-trained text rank model since it was much easier to package. Although we never managed to train our final model, we were going to follow the route used by Chen Al, who you train a transformer-based model on a subset of sentences from each passage on a subset of the target bullet points in order to reduce training time. Good choices of sentences to use for training might be the first one or two sentences from each article, combined with one or the two top recommendations from a LexRank or TextRank model. To productionalize our app, we package the baseline model using MLflow. We use Beautiful Soup to extract the articles from a given RS feed. And in order to get the text from each article, we have to specify the target elements uh, to a find all method, which turns out be, uh, to be a little bit messy. We serve the app on Flask and we put the whole environment into a Docker container. And this makes sure that the serving environment will stay consistent across hosts. Once we do this, we put the container onto Heroku, which then deploys the app publicly. So here we can see two example summaries using the text rank model. Each summary consists of two sentences drawn from a much longer article. The first article is a news article regarding the current pandemic and some of the me measures being taken by the US in response. The other is a technical article about forecasting and the financial market. It is clear from just the first few words of each summary that TextRank does a much better job with the news article compared to the technical article. And indeed, we expect that news articles will be better summarized by most models in comparison to articles from specific discourse communities, given the relative abundance of data on the news that is available. For now, however, our biggest bottleneck application-wise is the amount of time that we need to fetch a large number of web pages for, uh, from our RSS feed. A large part of this can be attributed to the use of Beautiful Soup, which is not optimized for bulk web scraping. A tool such as Scrapey 
can do this an order of magnitude faster, but it has a significant learning curve, and that is why we haven't pursued it for now. Unfortunately, the mechanism that we have used to extract the target elements from each article is also extremely inconvenient, but it will suffice for now uh, in order to demonstrate what is going on. You can check out our prototype on Heroku by following the links here. In particular, we would like to draw your attention to our demo front end, which will allow you to interface with our prototype without having to provide complicated post requests. The text and RSS methods will allow you to use the API directly, and we will show you how to do this in the demo section. If you want to get to the sources we use to this, in this project, you can access them through our slides in the final link on this page. So for the first part of our demo, we're going to visit the front end, um, which you could get to simply by entering the URL here. The main component of our front end is going to consist of um, a URL to our RSS feed, <coughs> as well as a set of target elements that allow you to um, pull out the text from the articles in this RSS feed. And if you look at this URL, you'll see that it brings you to an XML file, uh, which gives you a list of articles as well as the links and um, the, the links, the offers, and various other sorts of metadata. Um, in this case, the target elements is going to be a set of nested lists, and it's a pretty complicated structure, so I won't explain it in the video. Um, but if you are interested, you could go onto our app and you could uh, check out this explanation down here below. Once you've had uh, once you've entered these two fields, you can click on the summarize button. After a couple seconds, you will see the results return down here below. And as you can see, it extracts a couple of um, technology related articles from CBC and provides a two sentence summary for each of these articles. Next, I'm going to demonstrate the text method for our API, which takes a list of passages and returns summaries for each of them. In order to do this, I'm going to use the Postman app, and I'm going to provide a JSON query in the, uh, within the body. So in this query, uh, there are a couple of variables. Um, the one that stands out right now is the data itself, which is going to be a list. And for now, I'm just going to summarize uh, one passage. I'm going to get the, set the summarization mode um, to return a collection of sentences. Uh, you can also return a collection of words. Uh, and I'm going to ask that it returns to me five sentences. Once I've set all of this up, I can hit the send button. And as you'll see, it returns to me a summarization that consists of five sentences. If I wanted to uh, get summaries for multiple passages, for example, I can break this text up and I could turn it into turn the data into a list of two passages. And let's say I want to get a one sentence summary for each of them, then I could just change it like so and hit send. And as you can see, it returns to me two, uh, sum two summaries, each consisting of one sentence. So finally, I'm going to demonstrate the RSS method for our API. In order to do this, I'm going to post a JSON query, uh, which consists of a couple of elements. The first element is going to be the RSS dictionary here, and it's going to consist of a collection of dictionaries itself. Each of the dictionary consists of a key, as well as a URL, and a set of target elements, as demonstrated in the front end earlier. In this demo, we're going to use the CBC Tech uh, RSS uh, as we demonstrated earlier, but we're also going to use the Towards Data Science feed uh, from Medium. We're also going to set a limit on the number of articles to extract from each feed, and we're also going to set the mode, uh, the summarization mode, as well as the length as before. Once we've done this, we can hit the send button. After a few seconds, you'll get the response. And if we just look at the response here, you can see that uh, because we set the article limit to two, it's going to return us a summary of two articles 
and each summary is going to be two sentences long. We've done this for the CBC Tech RSS feed, but we've also done this for the Towards Data Science feed. And as you can see here, there are also two articles, each uh, consisting of two sentences, two sentence summaries. Thanks for spending the time to listen to our presentation. If you're interested, please go onto our Heroku app and play around with our frontend, as well as our text and our RSS methods.